presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. On June 4th, Albert Pujols became the ninth player in baseball history to hit 600 home runs. This one's got a chance to go. Go! Big fly for Albert Pujols. Number 600. Just look at the list of many, many players that play this game. And, you know, for myself, as, as an honor, I thank God for, for allowing me to, to have this moment uh, to be able to accomplish, you know, 500, 600. Who knows how many more I'm going to hit. Now, Pujols is a swing away from tying Sammy Sosa for eighth on the all-time home run list. Big fly for Robert Pujols at number 608 of his career. But what makes this next home run even more special? It would give Albert the most home runs by a player born outside the United States. In a career full of milestones, Albert Pujols takes aim at his biggest yet. Next. We said last night in the open that the Angels needed to shake off Sunday's loss against the Toronto Blue Jays. They certainly did that. The offense came to life once again. They took game one against the Philadelphia Phillies tonight from the Big A. It is game number two of this three game set. We welcome you inside our broadcast booth and back to Angels baseball here on Fox Sports West along with Mark Gubiza. I'm Victor Rojas. The other thing we did say last night during our broadcast is the Angels offense if they're going to make a run as far as the wild card is concerned is going to have to be a little bit more consistent. They've done that so far four consecutive games in which they've scored at least six runs. Obviously they've won some games they lost Sunday but last night it was nice to see the offense come to life and Albert now back to back games with three hits. Yeah Victor when you think about it, he's really the guy and the leader of your team Mike Trout's the best player in baseball but Albert Poles can be a leader. What you talked about what he's done the last two games six for nine three home runs nine RBI very good swings last night going the other way for a two run double which was an important swing at that point gave the Angels the lead but then a three run home run. 393rd different pitcher in his career that Albert Pujols has homered off. Now just one away from that home run mark of Sammy Sosa which is very important for Albert Pujols. So when he gets on one of these patent hot streaks look for him to be able to carry the club and continue hitting the ball out of the ballpark. All well, that offense going to try to support J.C. Ramirez J.C. on the mound tonight for the Angels looking for his 10th victory of the season. He's been a nice story this year since he started the season out in the bullpen. He's making his way in. We're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A. Sit back and relax. Line up some first pitch when we return.
Brought to you by your local Southern California Land Rover retailers. By Jerome's Furniture, home of Jerry's Price and proudly the official furniture store of Angels Baseball. And by your local Toyota dealers. Let's go places. Welcome back out to the Big A. It's yet another soupy night here in Southern California. No rain today, although, so that's a good sign. The Angels and the Phillies both took uh, batting practice on the field today. The Angels trying to make it two in a row against the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. Game two of this nine-game homestand. They'll wrap up the series tomorrow. And uh, a rare sight, J.C. Ramirez looks like he's just about ready to go. He's been uh, doing this all season long, especially at home, when kind of controls the tempo when he goes out there. And today is one of the few times we've seen him actually come in a little bit early. It's that time of season, though. It's so hot and muggy. It shouldn't take you but three or four pitches to get ready. Yeah, that's the thing. You, normally, you would throw a, probably a 15 or 20 less pitches to warm up with to go into the game here today. Well, the Halos are taking the field. We'll check out the Phillies lineup for game number 105 on the season. 39 and 65 with the loss last night. Now 16 and 37 away from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. And they will have uh, Cesar Hernandez leading things off, playing second base. Freddie Galvis is back at shortstop. Odebol Herrera is out at center field. Tommy Joseph, the first baseman. He to Kim DH last night. He gets a start tonight out of left field. Michael Franco at third base. Daniel Nava, the former Angel, back in the lineup. He's in right field. Cameron Rupp, the catcher, and it's Andrew Knapp, who caught last night, serving as the DH tonight. He will bat number nine spot. Metro J.C. Ramirez on the mound. This will be his 24th appearance of the season. 21st start, and uh, very good. I mean, you talk about a guy that uh, went into training camp with an outside shot and winning the fifth spot in the rotation didn't make the rotation coming out of camp but a great story he has filled in nicely in that rotation looking for his 10th win tonight Gooby. yeah very impressive when you think about it. my go to's for JC when you think about him being successful is really his hard sliders against right handed batters he's established his fastball pretty consistently but his slider is going to be 88 to 91 expand the strike zone against the right handed batters for this Philadelphia club and they have struggled against the slider and the lefties that curveball, big thing, good depth of that curveball, but it's a change of speed and the break are going to be very, very important against the left-handed batters tonight for J.C. to be successful against the Philadelphia Phillies. Check out the defense for the Angels tonight. Revere's in left, Trout at center. Flores for a second consecutive start out in right field. Now Buena is getting the start tonight at third base. Simmons at short, Coward at second, Crone at first, and Maldonado behind the plate. And Anderton Simmons, who has been fielding excellent this season at short. So last 51 games, he's turned 31 double plays. It's one error, nine errors on the season, 68 double plays turned second most in the American League for the shortstop who, in most people's opinion, the front runner for the gold glove in the American League at shortstop. Hernandez settles in, ready to go. First one tonight from J.C. is in there for a strike. Brian O'Nora, the acting crew chief, calling the balls and strikes tonight. Ben May at first, Scott Barry in second. Quinn Walcott, who was behind the dish last night, gets the uh, not over at third. Hernandez hitting 290. There's a one ball, one strike count on him. 11 doubles, four triples, six home runs. 20 runs batted in. Multi-hit game last night, going two for five. Philadelphia eight hits last night. They had a, a number of opportunities. They've been in scoring position in last night's contest. They went two for 16 with men in scoring position. Ricky Nolasco bobbing and weaving. He made the right pitch when he needed to. Speaking of right pitches, that 77 mile an hour curveball. Good to see you from JC. Just missed inside. Two balls, two strikes. We just showed you Pete McCannon, the manager of the Philadelphia Phillies, now in his third season. This uh, young ball club turned 66 yesterday, as he likes to say, he's close to 60. That's just off the plate of full count. I, I like that. You like that? Yeah. And what he says, he goes, he goes, listen, if you draw a straight line, and on the left you have zero, and on the right you have a thousand, and you, you mark where 60's at, 66 is close to 60. It is. It's very logical. Three two is rolled foul. So we'll do it again. So from now on, you can use that. Oh, I will be using that the in a, double a couple nickel. weeks. Yes, although I'm still 50. Close to 50. Yeah, close, close to, to it. it. Close to it. Angels last night, 13 hits in the 7-1 victory. And he walked a leadoff walk to start this one. Hernandez will take over at first base. JC is coming off a loss in his last start. Did not pitch poorly, although he hit 
He should have career high six walks in that game. That was at Cleveland. Gave up two runs on five hits and six and two thirds. Struck out four. Yeah, last four starts for JC. 15 walks. He's only allowed seven earned runs and 25 and two thirds innings, 24 and two thirds innings pitched, but the walk total high for him. 11 stolen bases allowed for JC Ramirez in 15 attempts. Imagine the Phillies are going to be aggressive, especially early in counts. They're going to test Martin Maldonado has thrown out 43% of base dealers. That's lined out to right center field. Hit well. Trout going back. He'll make the catch as he steps onto the track. One down. Jumping on that first pitch fastball was Freddie Galvis. Allowed out, but the first of the game. Like we talked about in the go tos for JC, they will be aggressive and they will hit a fastball well. That's why it's important to spot the fastball, but utilize a slider and curveball throughout to get some quick, easy outs. So one out, one on. Odebell, Herrera, the center fielder up. Hitless in last night's game. Check that one for four last night and a single. 278 average with 11 home runs. And that has started to go, then stopped. Pitch a lot of running action to it at 95. J.C. Uh, Ramirez, a former Philly. C.J. Hernandez lead off walk stands at first. He takes off, swing and a miss, and no throw from Maldonado. Have a double clutch there. Yeah, almost like he didn't get a good grip of the baseball. A pretty good jump. So used to seeing Martin with that arm to throw somebody out. I felt like he had a shot at it. Yeah, he had you control know the baseball. And not only that, Herrera swinging and then falling over into the plate yeah, area. Almost I go through the foul that's through. That's what I thought that uh, Martin would have done. Even if you're not going to throw him out, you might as well try to make contact with the batter as he's falling across the plate. At the very least, they put him back at first. This is flared out towards center. Two down. And when you go back and take a look at that steal by Hernandez against J.C. Ramirez, he had a pretty good jump. It was a break of ball, and then he's falling across the plate. You can make contact rather easily if you're Martinez, if you follow through on the throw. So two outs, a man at second. It looked like he didn't get a good grip. So used to that power arm for Martin Maldonado. Tommy Joseph, the first baseman, takes a strike. A couple of hits last night. On board three times with a single double and a walk. Two for three overall. Also picked up an RBI. Just underway. Ball and a strike. Joseph comes in batting 259. 16 home runs and 54 runs batted in. Also with 22 doubles. Couple fastballs so far for JC against him. Looked, Looked like he, he might have went. I thought so. He did. That's some serious movement on a fastball. Joseph looking for a fastball yet. Yeah, clearly crossed the plate. Now you would think you have him set up for that hard slider going down and away. One two. There's that slider. He up the count of two you balls. Get to him strikes. to chase that pitch, Victor, if it's close enough. But that was never even close to the strike zone to begin with. You can start it on the corner, have it break and go away from the strike zone, but that started well out of the strike zone to start with. Classify that as an overthrown yes, slider? Exactly. Too, trying to make too good of a pitch. Mm -hmm. 
you have him set up, especially when the fastball in. He doesn't want to be beaten on another fastball in. Ground ball toward the hole. Simmons to the backhand has it. Blanks throws over, and the inning comes to an end. The Phillies scored a run in the first last night. Tonight, they leave a man in scoring position. We're at the bottom of the first with no score. Look at Mike Sosha's lineup for game number 108 of the season. Halos at 52 and 55, four back of the second wild card spot. They will have Ben Revere leading things off and playing left field. He's getting that leadoff spot with uh, Escobar taking the night off. Trout in center, pools at DH, Valboy at third, Simmons at short, Crone at first, Coward at second, Maldonado's doing the catching roll. Flores back out at right. He is batting nine. Taking on the 23 year old right hitter, native of Heath. Texas. His name is Jake Thompson. And Thompson's fastball, 89-93 range. He'll throw a slider, cut fastball, and change up. My go-to is to be successful against Thompson tonight. Look lower zone. A lot of pitch lower part of the strike zone to make solid barrel contact. In other words, don't let him jam you on that handle and off the end of the bat on his cut fastball. Fifth game, second start of the season for Thompson at the major league level. Ten innings, 11 hits, eight strikeouts, six walks. In the first one. Is in there for strike one on Ben Revere. Ben last night back out of left. The multi hit game goes two for four. Slices this one out the left field. Kiev will play it on a bounce. So it's a leadoff single for Revere. Continues to swing to Badwell. Let's check out the uh, Phillies. The fight, if you will, on the defensive side of things. We've got Kim and left, Herrera in center, Navas in right, Franco and Galvez on the left side, Hernandez and Joseph on the right, and Rupp tonight behind the plate. And Herrera covers the ground in center, has a very good throwing arm also. 21 assists in the last three seasons. That's the fourth best amongst MLB center fielders. Two errors this year, had nine last year. Much better catching the baseball, but a very good throwing arm out in center field. Michael looking to strike. Multi hit game last night for Trout. On base three times with a walk and two singles. 335 batting average. 455 on base percentage. It's that lower part of the strike zone for Trout to track it against Thompson. Trout with a very good swing pass, especially against that sinker. 479 batting average versus a sinker. Trout fans looking on. Great angle to see him square up a baseball lower part of the zone. Two balls, one strike. Thompson at AAA most of the year. 18 starts. 4 11 with a 5.36 ERA. 94 total innings. That's while playing for the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Yes. Took the spot from Pelton. He was traded over to Baltimore in the rotation. Slightly different pace you can see already for Thompson as compared to Hellickson. Missed downstairs. Three and one. Hellickson got the start. 
for Baltimore tonight against Kansas City. We would put him in line to start Monday. And the Orioles are in town. First meeting of the year between the Angels and the O's. Thompson originally in the Tiger system went over to Texas in the Joaquin Soria deal. This one's lifted out to run. Thompson got moved over to Philadelphia to Cole Hamill's trade. One out, one on. Pujols coming to the plate. Well, he just got away with that pitch against Trout. Looked like a little cut action on that pitch. Out over the plate. Trout just underneath it. A high fly ball out. It's right field. Revere with a leadoff single over at first. They'll check in on him. Albert last night, three for four. A single, double, and a home run. Five runs batted in. 13 stolen bases for Ben Revere this season. One oh. Off feet of the bat toward right center. Two down. So Revere standing at first base, please found point of coming up. Feels will have to shift on from the infield now against Val Buena. Certainly a lot of room on that left side of the infield. Again, early in the count, try to turn on a pitch. Later on in the count, that whole left side of the infield to get a base hit, especially with Revere at first, go first to third rather easily. Takes a pitch on the inside part of the plate. Luis tonight getting to start at third with Escobar out of the lineup. Nothing serious, but uh, grabbed his back for a swing last night. Be surprised to see you now back in the lineup tomorrow. Cole Calhoun did some running today, looked good. Flores getting the start and right today. Oh one. What a what? Shift on, complete full shift. There's Cole. Came out of the game on Sunday at Toronto. Yeah, he looked really good doing those exercises today on the field. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Revere's on the move. The pitch down and away. Throw down. Gets by Freddie Galvis and into center. It's an error. A stolen base down an error. The man at third base with two outs. As that throw ran right into the slide of Ben Revere. Gets up quickly. Picks up his 14th stolen base of the season. Real good jump. And slides in there. They will run quite a bit here again tonight. The Angels, three stolen bases last night. Now 93 stolen bases on the season for the Angels. Two one. Three and one. The Angels leading the majors in that category this season. Stolen bases. And to the Simmons on deck. He's got 15. Full count. Ninety-three bags now. 
Like last couple of seasons, 28th rank, 17th rank. Sorry about it. I said three stolen base, four last night. Now pitch from Thompson now. And that's lifted to center. So leadoff single allowed by Thompson. Then he gets the next three guys to hit fly ball outs. One of the second inning with no score. In your own private suite at Angel Stadium, Sweet Reynolds offer all inclusive food and beverage packages. For more information, just go to angels.com. We're scoreless as we begin the second. Kim, Franco, and Navo. Face uh, J.C. Ramirez. Both starting pitchers allowing the leadoff man to reach, but then both guys retiring the next three in order. Young Su Kim, DH last night, first appearance in a Phillies uniform since coming over in that Alex and Deal last Friday. Fouls off this pitch. Nice job by Martin Maldonado. It's a fair ball, one down. Well, he's played a lot of games, but still a lot of spring in those steps. Feeling that baseball fielded in fair territory and getting that quick out at first base. Martin Maldonado has been excellent behind the plate. Real good angle here. See him get out of that batter's box quickly. Find an Orr's call. Call it a fair. Easy out at first. And try to push it down that line with the shift on. Well, they're not a right there to make the play. That is absolute textbook defense on a catcher's part by one team all the time. To get out of your catching position to feel that and have your body turned and be in throwing position and feel that in fair turn because it's going to probably bounce back and be out of play. That's anticipating an out is what it's doing. Yeah. Some guys. Especially when you get to a part of a season where it's uh, the dog days if you will and you're maybe out of it you're not sure of it you just kind of that's ah, a foul ball you don't come out of the crouch he's looking for the out he senses the ball. he says I'm gonna try to get an out out of it that's not the first time we've seen that either this one's out to shallow center he's done that a couple of times even the foul balls and you never know it's the home plate umpire's call he's got to come out from behind the plate and put himself in a position to read fair yeah. foul down the lines and when you think about his leadership skills and what he does so the intangibles and the starts he has made this season. He's well above his career numbers for our starts this season. Games played. Talked to him a little bit today. Asked him how he's feeling, especially on a warm 
couple of days that we've seen the last couple of days here at the Big A with the humidity. And he said he feels great. Juan Gretel, who's done a solid job when he gets an opportunity to play, he's been solid defensively. So when you talk about two really good defensive catchers with great leadership skills, both have it. Daniel Nabo, one time angel. Having a nice season. 303, three home runs, 17 RBIs. Activated on the DL, or off the DL, I should say. Be great if he was activated while on the deal. <laughs> now that but would not allowed that to play. would be some serious skill. <laughs> Two balls, one strike. Inside three and one. Three one pitch ripped to right and Flores kind of caught flat footed there. Wasn't sure if he was going to attack it or not. Ends up laying back on it. It will by single. Nava. You're caught in between. You come in and slide in to try to make that play and gets by. It's a double or triple. Yeah, I think if he comes straight in on that baseball, he's got a shot of catching that before it hits the outfield grass. But it's one of those caught in between ones as an outfielder. So Davos on board. Here's Cameron Rupp, the catcher. Takes a strike. That was a nice under control breaking ball. Yeah, that's the thing that's very important for JC Ramirez. Rupp hitting 234, 10 home runs, 23 runs batted in. A little sharp slider from JC Ramirez. It's Parker Bridwell. Happy birthday to Parker. The birthday boy. Close to 20. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah. 26. Just a few days older than Mike Trout. who will turn 26 on August 7th. Parker Br Bridwell on the mound tomorrow night. Two one. Toward right, slicing away from Flores. Might have a play on it. And did he get it? He did. Nice play. Timed it perfectly. Got to the wall. Reached up and hauled it in for the third out. Really under control, like you said, Victory. Got to that wall, never took his eye off baseball, was kind of putting that hand out there. The feel where the wall was going to be. Reaches up with the fans right there. A Philly fan in front of makes the play.
Four Halos sending up uh, Simmons, Crone, and Coward. It's Jake Thompson. Took uh, Thompson and the uh, Phillies a little while to get out there. Nice play, though, by remote floors under control out there. We see Cole make some terrific plays at right. Especially when you know there's going to be some fans reaching out trying to get a baseball souvenir. Keep his eye on the baseball. Nice play by Flores to finish off the inning. No one count, Danielton. Pops this one up. Hernandez, the second baseman, is there. One down. So far, Thompson's done a nice job as far as mixing and matching with his off speed pitches, too. Batting average against him on his fastball, 286 this season. He's given up three home runs. I think his career, I should say, against his fastball is change up around that same batting average, although he's given up seven home runs, 286 batting average in his career versus his changeup. <laughs> Both his slider and cutter, this is a 235 batting average. That was a slider right there. Very limited sample size this season. Pro pulls with a left field. It's a one out single. Second hit allowed by Thompson. It's time for Tools of the Trade, brought to you by Ram Trucks, with Caleb Coward coming to the plate, why he's been so successful this season with a 480 batting average. Look on the left, last year, hands a lot higher. And leaning back and a little bit more of an uppercut, longer swing. Last season, the relaxed hands, laying that bat on the shoulder a little bit lower, and he gets through the baseball much quicker, more consistent contact. Shorter swing, more line drives, better batting average for Cowart. Last year, because of that longer swing, was susceptible, especially for a four-seam fastball upstairs. Twelve for twenty-five this year. Oh, what? Pulls a foul. 0-2 count. Caleb yesterday with a couple of hits, two for four. Another thing we've seen too from Caleb is that because he's under control, balanced, doesn't let a, an 0 for two start to his game snowball into an 0 for four. Still battles. I think part of it, Victor, too, is he knows he's getting that opportunity to play every day. That's so important for a, a young player, position player, as opposed to stressing about. Uh, Hey, I'm going to get sent down tomorrow yeah. or the next day or the day exactly. after that. Exactly. And then all of a sudden you expand the strike zone. You're trying to hit a three run home run with no one on base. Now he's just looking to hit line drives to the gaps. Short lead for CJ over at first. One, two. Very close, did not go. Two and two. It's a pretty good take, too, by the way. That's a hard breaking ball down and in. Goes right to what we've been talking about. He's seen the ball much better. He even found that tough pitcher's pitch. Brandon Orr going to give Cameron Rupp a little bit of a breather. Yeah, Rupp got hit in the cup. The old Mitch Cup check. Yes. No bueno. That looks like Bud Norris with a beard. <laughs> I 
Well, Evan Gaddis with the Evan Houston Gattis. Astros. Yeah. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes with one out. Fouled it off. Good at that working here for Coward. Had to deal with some pretty tough pitches already in this at bat. Still up there on a 2 2 count. So you want to go fastball upstairs. That's hit sharply to second. Hernandez is going to turn into a double play. Well struck by Caleb, but right to Caesar Hernandez. And the Angels' second is in the books. Rock to the third, still no score. From Mexico City, sixth ranked Sergio Pettis faces off against seventh ranked Brandon Moreno. UFC Fight Night, Saturday, 4 Pacific on FS1. Top of the third, no score. Ramirez, no strike counts, one walk, one hit allowed, faces 9, 1, and 2 for Philadelphia. Nat, Hernandez, and Galvis. JC's thrown 30 pitches, 16 in the first, 14 in the second. <laughs> Nat hitting 252. DHing tonight. Last night, one for four. Double. Grounded into two double plays. The double is eighth of the year. Hit through the hole on the left side. Good piece of hitting. Lead off single as Revere gets that baseball back in. They have the very good slow curveball at 77. Stays back, gets a fastball upstairs, and this lines it the other way. They didn't try to pull it. Otherwise, that's ground ball to second. Good piece of hitting. Let that baseball travel. You see where that baseball was at? Middle of the plate before he went through and lined that in the left field for a single. Pretty impressive. Considered a 77 mile an hour curveball to pitch before 95 on a fastball, but it was up. And lateral movement and sent his sinking action on his fastball. Cesar Hernandez, second baseman. See his home road splits. 
Worked a walk in the first, stole a base, but was stranded at scoring position. Two and oh. Grab ball to second. Coward to Simmons. Oh, boy. Oh, that was turned nicely by Coward and Simmons. 4 6 3 double play. It's the 15th double play turn behind JC Ramirez this season. Solid play by the middle infield for the Angels. And Coward quick on that flip over to Anderton Simmons. Able to touch the base and get rid of that baseball with that power arm to complete 4 6 3 double play. Freddie Galvis in a fly ball to center field in the first inning. 0 for 1. Well, chopper could be a tough play. Coward has to hurry on it. Loves it. Tried to glove it anyways to the backhand. Galvis to speed. Probably going to get an infield base hit. And it is. Charges the baseball pretty well. And I think with his arm, he might have a better chance quick on the transfer with the bare hand than he would be the flip. Although Galvis good speed going down the line. Sometimes you don't have that opportunity to make that decision. Tried to flip it over the first. I think even if he does make a good throw, he's going to beat that out because not a lot on that flip out of the glove. Not an easy play on a regular flip. And then it just becomes that much more difficult to the backhand flip, especially if you're not used to doing it. It's like having a high life Cesta in your hand. Yes. I know you're a big high life guy back in the day. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't a rig sport. <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, going to watch that quite a bit down in Florida. <laughs> so Galvis is on board. Nine stolen bases on the year's been caught once. Oh, to Bell Herrera. Center fielder hit a fly ball his first time out. Oh, for one. Tough month of May, but then again, the entire Phillies organization had a tough month of May. At least at the major league level, six and twenty-two month of May for the fights. Well, when you see a hitter with that type of movement, that's that's when you have that hesitation and a full windup. Obviously, we can't do that out of the stretch. Herrera is like he's he's all about that timing getting that foot down. I, I was just gonna I was just gonna say that Gooby right before you know JC was holding the baseball. You watch Herrera start a leg kick and then calls time. Yeah. So he's try, I mean that's yes. that takes an incredible amount of talent to time that. Bobby perfectly. Bobby Benita had that high yeah. leg kick like that too. And would hold it up there. Oh yes. <laughs> Not many times did I ever try that during the course of a game and be able to hold the baseball in a delivery but I tried it against Bobby Benita. And you see him there that time he was trying to get it that foot down in anticipation of a 95 98 mile an hour fastball being delivered from JC. Big lead for Galvis at first. Down it in snap throw. Nope. He holds on to it. Thought about it. 1 0 count. Pretty big lead. He's going. Pitch a strike to throw down. A good one. Quick tag and out is the call. Freddie Galvis pointing in. He kind of did that uh, Willie Mays Hayes slide where he kind of just kept on sliding. It's like he started a little bit too soon and maybe that fooled Simmons enough. Larry Boa taking a look at it. The tag. 
I, mean, I don't know. They might know. they might challenge that. Depending on the angle here, a little bit different angle. So used to getting that quick tag down. I think you might I think they could challenge that. Yeah, they're not going to though. Oh. They waved it off, so uh, we'll head to the bottom of the third inning. Still with no score. The big A. Clouds are clearing out. Sun setting. Beautiful, beautiful view tonight. My Hyundai key for this game. Go a little pink with the sky. Just give me a reason. Again, you go up with your game plan. You haven't seen it before with Thompson. Now you're going to get close to going that second time through. But first time through, you look at the tapes. You're going to still stay with that game plan as far as looking lower part of the strike zone against it to be successful. And another strike. Well, could have been called a strike lower part of the strike zone. Maldonado Flores and Revere for the Angels here in the bottom of the third. Two balls no strikes two hits allowed by uh, Thompson. Ripped down the line, fair ball. Toward the corner, long run for Kim, so Martin will easily get the second with a double. That'll be his 12th of the season. So the Angels lead off extra base hit, and the man in scoring position for Ramon Flores. When well, you look back at last night for a moment, I saw a lot of pitches, 27 pitches and four bats. Aggressive here, got a fastball, turns on it, and hits it right down the third baseline. Extra base hit for Martin Maldonado. 24 extra base hits this season for Martin. Bon Flores made his Angels debut last night. Ended up going 0 for 3 with three ground ball outs. Good numbers at AAA this year. Took down at it. 25 year old native of Venezuela. The 311 for AAA Salt Lake. Five home runs, 55 RBIs. So 14 doubles and two triples. Two balls, no strikes. And you're looking for something on the inner half of the plate to try to hit the ball to the right side of the infield at the very least to advance Martin Maldonado to third. Both these pitches missed by quite a bit. First one well down and in, that up and away off the plate. It's a good conversation for Rupp to go out to talk to Thompson to get him back in the strike zone. Rip 
to the right side Hernandez nice play by the second baseman one down as Maldonado advances over to third good productive out good swing from Flores good range Hernandez he thought about it. he quickly looked up to see where Maldonado was but that's a long throw for a second baseman throw back to third to try to get it out on a tag play not a force out There's high fives. Flores coming back. A productive out. Phillies bringing the infield in now. Third inning. Revere one for one with a base hit. It's upstairs. Ben also picked up a stolen base in that first inning. Fourteenth of the year. Two and oh, trout on deck. Thought about it. A sinking action to it. Two and one. That's a good take, though, really. If you hit that ball, it's going to be on the ground, especially that left side of the infield. The infield in. Difficult to score on a contact play for Maldonado. You're looking for a pitch you could hit in the air. Pretty good arms in the outfield for the Phillies. Thompson trying to double up on that outside pitch. Three balls, one strike. Like Trout on deck. Ground ball. Hernandez bobbles it. The run will score anyway. And the Angels have a one nothing lead. Looked like he was trying to field that baseball in all one move, spin around and throw it towards home instead of looking in the glove first. See the contact play on. Maldonado's going to go. Would have been a close play at the plate, especially with the arm that Hernandez had in second. Unable to field it, though. You know, picking up an error. Should be an RBI, though, for Ben Revere. Yep. So one nothing Angels, one out, one on. Seventh there committed by Hernandez. Trout a fly ball to right field in his first plate appearance. Trout looking for that first career home run against his team he grew up watching. And that's driven out to center. Going back on it is Herrera at the wall. Gone! Big fly for Mike Trout. Number 20 on the season, and the Angels have a 3 0 lead. Boy, right on cue from Mike Trout. Picks up that first career home run against the Phillies. It's our top tier play brought to you by Arco. Talked about last at bat, just missed hitting the home run against Thompson. Went right back upstairs again on a fastball middle of the plate, upper part of the strike zone. Thompson knew it. You can tell by that reaction. Lines that one out. The dead center field, 20th home run of the season for Mike Trout. The ninth home run for Trout in his last 16 home games. Dead center field, his buddy, Gary Richards, right there to greet him. Albert chasing the slider. Has an 0-2 count. Pools to fly ball to center field in his first plate appearance.
one two and that just missed inside. Albert at 608 career home runs. Sammy Sosa up next at 609. Two two. That's a little loop around the left field. And a base hit for Albert. Still pretty good piece hitting. He ran that fastball and he brought his hands inside just to get enough of the barrel of that bat to fight that in the le left center field for a base hit for Albert. Here he runs his fastball, runs it in, but he did a nice job of bringing his hands inside. Enough on that barrel. He was able to bring his hands inside. Lines it in there for a base hit of center field for Albert. Continues to swing the bat well. Talked about him in the opening last two games. Six for nine, three home runs, nine RBI. Make that now seven for his last 11 for Albert. That since his 0 for 24 was snapped. Luis, a fly ball to center to end the first. He's 0 for 1. Change up. 1 0 pitch. Good take by Val Valbuena. In this inning, four 0 2 0 counts for Thompson. Pulled down the line. Nice knockdown by Joseph. Albert stopped between first and second and fortunately gets in there. He thought Joseph had come up with it cleanly, was going to try to get in a rundown. He ends up getting in a scoring position. Hit pretty well by Valbuena. Almost got by Joseph, be able to step on the base and then quickly try to throw to get the out at second and Albert Pujols. But that's no longer a force that becomes a tag play. Gets that foot in there before the tag was applied. The so two outs. Albert at second. Here's Simmons. Takes low. Handled it. Popped down to Hernandez, the second baseman, while leading off the second. Three nothing Angels here in the third. RBI ground out or error, I should say, off the bat of Revere. Then the two run blast by Trout. Point Simmons has been real good. He's in a fastball count against a fastball this season. 341 batting average with five home runs versus a fastball this season. Should get a fastball now. He got, he got one. Now it's time for the driver's seat brought to you by the new 2017 Kia Sorrento. Speaking of swinging the bat very well, it's in the midst of a 10 game hit streak. It's had four hit streaks of seven or more games this season. And over a long stretch, that's 66 games, 340 batting average, fourth best in the majors for Andleton Simmons. That's a long period of time he has swung the bat very, very well. This was back toward the middle. Hernandez not going to get there. Hits softly enough for Albert's going to try to score, and the third of the play is not a time. RBI single by Andleton Simmons for nothing. Halos. Another base hit. 11 game history for Andleton Simmons. Another base hit. Runners in scoring position. And has been much more consistent of late. Talked about even in, in the opening, talked about six runs or more, four straight games. Well, it's because they've been hitting better with runners in scoring position. They have been able to score. Very plenty, very deep center field slides in with the fourth run here in the third inning. Interesting thing about this one, if you watch Albert going from second to third, because of the way that ball was hit off the bat of Simmons, 
Albert was slowing down going to third, thinking that Hernandez was going to get knock there and keep the ball on the infield. Then all of a sudden, you see Renicki with the windmill. Yeah, he picked him up yep. at that last moment and went home on that play into the outfield. You see him right here. And then, as he looks back, he reads it and able to score the fourth run of the inning. 49 RBIs now. What a and season the, he's had in with Simmons with the bat. So CJ Crowe will bat with two outs, Simmons at second. Crow with a base at the left field in the second inning. 25 pitches thrown so far this inning by Jake Thompson. Pretty solid since that recall from Triple A. Three home runs for CJ Crone. That was a pitch he'd love to have back, that hanging slider first pitch from Thompson. And that is driven out the left. No doubter. Big fly for CJ Crone. Six nothing Halos. Make that five consecutive games in which the Angels have scored six or more runs. I think he got that slider, that backup slider, the exact same pitch before he took, got it, then take this one, and he crushed it out. Fourth home run since his return from Triple A. See this breaking ball, almost the exact same spot. And CJ Crone on that swing pad, he's got that foot down, and he's got that barrel to bat, catches out in front. You're talking about a long way out, a sixth home run. Siege of the season for Crone. Wow, that's way off. Caleb Cowart, the ninth man to come to the plate here in the third inning. Alfredo made sure he made the play tonight, by the way, on that ground ball, Adam. Made that error last night between the legs this time, made the play. Doesn't want to get shown up by Juan Samuel. No. Phillies third base coach and a heck of a fielder himself. Yes. Caleb grounded into a double play his first plate appearance. 30 pitches this inning for Thompson. Mike Trout made a pay with one of those pitches. Big fly to center. That's out to center field. Chasing Herrera back at the wall. Gone! Back to back jacks. 7 nothing Halos. Boy, just like we showed and talked about how quick he's been through the baseball. Even that last at bat, which he hit him with double play, he hit hard to Hernandez to start a 4 6 3 double play. His hands, and then through the baseball, another fastball that was down, and he drives it out the center field. Quick through the baseball, short with the swing, and well out to center field. First of the season in the big leagues for Coward. There's the man that started off this third inning, Martin Maldonado, with a double down the left field line. He'll shoot one out toward left center field, chasing Kim back near the wall, and hits off the base of the wall. Maldonado in his second with his second double of the third inning. This place would have gone bonkers if that ball had yes. left the yard. Going double dutch, two doubles in the same inning.
stays back. This time it fastball away. And another really good, powerful swing from an angel hitter to the wall. Two doubles, same inning, 13 on the season for Maldonado. Flores grounded out sharply in his first plate appearance a little earlier in this third inning. Oh, for what? Morgan, first man up for Philadelphia. Three home runs here in the third, first time this year. The Angels have done that. One inning. Now towards center. This is playable. Herrera tracks this one down. For the third out, but the Angels strike for seven runs and the long ball prevalent. Well, you talk about some perfect swings. The center field for Trout. Well out the left center field for Crone. The fans excited. And then Coward with a big fly to center. And the high five in the dugout. Top of the fourth inning, J.C. Ramirez should be able to settle in. One would think to throw in 40 pitches and see it as uh, offense put seven runs on the board. Boy, some great swings. Trout home run. C.J. Crone, Cowart continued to swing the bat well. First home run of the season for Caleb. Only two earned runs in that inning against Jake Thompson because of the error. Uh, Cesar Hernandez on the ball, the Revere hit. But the mindset right now for J.C. Ramirez has to be, you have to think in terms of it's still 0-0. you got to be aggressive and get some quick outs. Herrera grounded out. Pardon me, uh, a fly ball out to center field. His first time up, swinging a miss here. Oh, at two. The decision talked about that knee for that slow curveball against left handed batters in the opening today when we talked about go to's for Ramirez. Fastball first pitch, 81 mile an hour, slow break a ball, downward tilt. You get a swing and miss on that one. Now we'll headed to count 0 2. Swing and a miss, tied him up nicely. JC picks up his first strike out of the night. What a perfect sequence there by JC Ramirez. Martin Maldonado starts out with that curveball, make it 0 2. Fastball first pitch he took and then went two seam fastball, runs it in, gets a swing and miss when you have a hitter looking for that slow curve.
Foul back. No balls, two strikes. Twelve hundred and seventy feet of home runs. The Angels net inning. It's sharp and towards Jordan. Glove by Simba. Two down. Continues to impress with the glove. We talk a lot about his offense lately, and deservedly so. But his defense still off the charts. Joseph squares this baseball up. But Simba always ready to make a play. Catches that liner second out of the inning. Really, Vic, when you go back to that inning there in the third inning, that was the second time through for the hitters that had not faced a pitcher before. Stayed with the game plan, talked about as a key to the game. Line to right field. Floor is coming on. He'll make the running catch. And it's a 1 2 3 shutdown inning for JC Rivera. So, head to the bottom of the fourth, so like 7 0 Angels. Third here to the bottom of fourth now. Flores made the last out. It'll be Ben Revere leading off for the Angels against the Phillies. But before his second hit of the game, he's been on base twice already and scored a run. Now it's time for the cold hard facts, which are brought to you by clean and crisp for his light. Ben Revere is a member of the Philadelphia Phillies back in 2014. Led the National League in hits for Philly since 1960 to lead the NL in hits. Dave Cash, Pete Rose, Lenny Dykstra, the other three before Ben Revere did so in 2014. Revere one for two with a single, reach out the air. He's picked up an RBI and scored a run. Bouncer toward first. Joseph has it. It's a fair ball. One away. No, oh, some could be sitting at home right now, Gooby. Saying, wow, seven runs, seven hits, three of which were home runs. The bottom of the third. Why isn't there somebody warming up for the Phillies? Why is Jake Thompson still in the game? But when you're the Phillies right now, and you're 39 and 65, you're the youngest on average team in Major League Baseball at 26 years of age. At some point, and this is the perfect time to do it, you've got to find out what you have going forward towards the end of this year, going into the offseason, and into spring training next year. You've got to see if a pitcher is going to be willing to fight after a tough inning. Right. Back out there, gets a quick out here in the fourth. 
Is it a learning experience? You're going to try to find out what kind of a rotation you're going to have in the future. See if Thompson's going to be part of that future for the Phillies. And I do like what they're doing. You have to do those things. He's had 64 pitches. He threw 35 in the third inning. Trout, one of the three home runs hit in that frame. His 20th of the year. I know there's not a lot of patience as far as Philly fans. But this is a learning process for a lot of young players. You mentioned the youngest team in the game. There's going to be some ups and downs. There's been a lot of downs so far this season. They had a great run there for a while, including winning the World Series in 2008. Lost in the World Series of the Yankees in 2009. So pretty good, good significant run for the Phillies, but now the rebuilding process. Two two. Pull holes on deck. Another 2 2 from Thompson. And he's looped foul. Got away with that slider. Product of making sure you didn't mess and miss with a slider this time around. Yeah. Overthrew that one. No backup slider no. this time. <laughs> no. Three two on the way. Trout yanks it foul just wide of the bag at third. Trout in five at bats last night, saw 24 pitches, already eight pitches in this at bat. First walk of the game for Thompson has no strikeouts. Head on for Albert. It's still an impressive at bat picture for Mike Trout. You know, you're up by seven up, and sometimes you'll see hitters expand their strikes and maybe chase a pitch out of the zone. But Trout stays to his game plan, does not chase that pitch out of the strike zone, works another walk. A Ten pitch at bat for Trout. Pulls one for two with a single and a fly ball to center. Fastball for Tops has got a little, a little late life to it, a little cut action. Yeah, it's not overpowering, no. but it's got some pretty good movement. I think when you look at this game, it really is it, the slider hasn't been as crisp as you would want. But she's a right handed pitcher against a number of the right handed batters today for the Angels. And another one is breaker balls that go to a very hittable spot. This is high enough on the inner part of the play for Poles not to swing at it. Goes to the rods of I was just going to ask you, is that a product of a hot, muggy night sweat? You can see the jersey's just drenched, as is the hat. 
Yeah, I mean that, that definitely happens, especially on breaking balls. But being the Phillies, they got to be pretty used to that type of conditions for about the last two, three months back in Philly. One, two, and he gets him swinging. Change up. Two outs, first strike out of the night for Thompson. Brings up Valbuena, hitless so far. Only two starters without a hit tonight, Valbuena and Flores. The hitters now for the Angels are starting to swing and attack the baseball very well. Five straight games or six or more runs for the offense, hitting with runners in scoring position, driving the ball well. Really, the pitching, even with all the injuries, has been fairly solid this season. It's really been the offense, the inconsistency one through nine of the, of the lineup, but it's starting to get a lot better and healthier. Now Buena loops one out the left field. I don't know if Kim's going to get there. And he does. Nice running play for the Phillies left fielder. Otherwise, it maybe cost them a run. No runs, no hits, one left down. We'll head to the fifth inning. Angels on top, 7-0. New 2017 Subaru Impreza. Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive plus 28 miles per gallon. More than a car, it's a Subaru. Top of the fifth inning, Halo's on top seven to nothing. Game two of a three-game series against the uh, Fights. Philadelphia, J.C. Rivera's one strikeout. One walk, three hits allowed. We'll get Franco, Nava, and Rupp here in the fifth. One, two, three, fourth. First time tonight that JC's retired the side and only throw 48 pitches. Frank on the third baseman, a fly ball to center, the second's 0 for 1. Three hits for Philadelphia so far. So one count. Angels with an opportunity to pick up a game. Standings get the city shut out by Baltimore. 6 nothing tonight. Yankees also lost to Detroit in a shutout in Yankee Stadium. That game took forever. Yes. A little bit of rain back east. Yeah. Halo's at the start of the day. Four back in the second wild card spot. Two balls and a strike on Franco. Especially when you get the news of Tyler Skaggs who's going to start on Saturday. Good to see that for Tyler. Just a job has been moved to the bullpen. 
That's effective immediately. Michael bounces to short. Okay. Troy Scribner will get the start on Friday. The opener of the uh, series against Oakland. And Skaggs, Nolasco for the weekend series. Matt Shoemaker had a power bullpen today. What Felt good. Mean? What's a power bullpen? Well, use all his pitches. A lot of times when you talk and hear it, was, here's Troy Scribner getting that start. Tyler Skaggs will start on Saturday. That means you're utilizing and thinking in terms of your mindset as if a batter's up there. Not just going through your routine and spotting the baseball. That means letting it go with the anticipation of somebody trying to swing the bat at you, yet there's no one there. Garrett Richards was throwing for about 250 feet today, so stretching out long toss anticipates throwing off the mound very shortly. Andrew Heaney not that far away. Now the one for one with a base hit. Pulls this one into the ship. Coward down in shallow right for two down. Tough little hop there, too, especially when you're playing that outfield grass. Different read is compared to on the dirt. Honda upcoming scheduled. Scribner getting to start on Friday. Oakland's in town for three. Skaggs. Saturday in Alaska, then on Sunday. Then Baltimore comes into town for a three game series beginning on Monday. Boy, talked to Tyler today. What a smile he had on his face. And he was so excited about the opportunity to get back out there and competing on Saturday. Skaggs has been out for a long time with an oblique issue. Cameron Rupp, the catcher, 0 for 1. Well, you can see that swing from Rupp. He does have seven opposite field home runs. You see the 10 on the season, but he's trying to hit that ball that way. Fly out to right field. Flores, first at bat. Same type of approach there. Tyler Flowers, that's who he reminds me of at the plate. Former White Sox, now Brave. A real good start to the season for the Braves. One one. There, one of two. Brought the third round pick by Philadelphia in 2010. University of Texas. Hook him. Curveball. That last pitch. Wonderful go with a slider now. Trying to sneak a fastball. 97. Just miss off the corner. Full count. JC trying to look. So the Phillies down in order for the second consecutive inning. Second three ball count for Ramirez. The other was first bat of the game. Cesar Hernandez eventually walked him. Down goes Rupp. Uh, that fastball had some serious movement. You think? Oh. <laughs> oh. Bottom of the fifth, that's where we're headed. Seven nothing, Angels.
to why it's worthy of a Carl's Cam replay. Some very good swings in that third inning. He grown at the plate with one on. Make that two in with that swing. Left center field home run. We'll see Dick Rowe, Caleb Coward coming up very next batter. Back to back home runs. Coward's first home run of the season. Back to back, belly to belly home runs for the Halos in the third. Laughing with you. <laughs> first time they were able to do that since June 3rd. Go belly to belly. Now there's Anakin Simmons for Cole Calhoun. Anakin Simmons leading off here. The fifth. You're laughing with me still? Always. <laughs> Never at you. Ever. Or at least not for the last two seconds. No. Anderton one for two on RBI single. The run scored in that uh, seven run third inning. Two of which were earned. Oh, I see an Eagles jersey down yes, there. Yes, I saw that. Dawkins. Those. Yes. That's a fantastic jersey. Two of them. <laughs> yes. Chip off the old block. Yes. It's okay, Dad. You didn't get it. Just like our Eagles this year. Don't worry. Wow. <laughs> fly, what, Eagles, fly. What did I see uh, today? 20% chance of winning the uh, NFC East. They had the Giants at the favorite. Killing me. Not buying it? No. no. You think they're going just, all the just way? Just don't tell Tom Gregorio, our bullpen coach, that. He'll uh, he'll crush me on that one. We have a little side bet. Giants and Eagles. A little side piece? Yes. So you're not buying into the fly, Eagles fly, are you? Yeah, you are. No. Yeah, sure. You think so? Yeah. I think you should. i go ahead and save my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather buy some cheesesteaks. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Crawl to single in a home run. By the way, Brian Dawkins was an unbelievable safety. Talk about it. somebody who can hit, receiver, tight end, running back. You ever see Miami? See Miami? Don't know that one. The U? Oh, yeah. Let me go to the, the Google. What is that called? What is that called? <laughs> is that a computer? A laptop? We're at the Clemson. In the Eagles Hall of Fame. Two two. That hits him. Off speed pitch a change up. Kind of sailed up and in. So Crone's on board three times tonight. One out here the fifth. Morgan still loosening. He was up in the third. Caleb Coward one for two. A double play ball in the second. Holbert, first of the year in the third inning. Five extra base hits this season. He's got three doubles, a home run, and a triple.
Oh, two, hits sharp to second. Hernandez. It's Gallus. Back to first. Inning ending double play. Five complete here at the Big A. Angels on top, seven and up. And Alex Curry with the Angels announcing their revamp starting rotation this afternoon adding Tyler Skaggs to start on Saturday that meant there had to be an odd man out and today the Angels moved Jesse Chavez to the bullpen I talked to Chavez today he said this is the first time in his career that he actually agrees with the move he said this was probably the hardest season he's ever had mentally he worked his tail off just to keep his head above water but wasn't reaching what he was capable of he said he's going to the pen with a chip on his shoulder and extra fire to be better and Gooby Jesse's has the experience pitching out of the pen and like Sosha said they need some depth and Jesse can bridge that gap. Yeah Alex when you think about it that first and second time through a lineup which he would do so out of the bullpen very effective numbers that third time through a reason why he didn't get as many decisions especially winning decisions as a starter so a valuable component out of the bullpen to give some length and some innings for Sosh out of the bullpen now. Come uh, September 1st you can have 40 guys on the roster so it doesn't matter everyone. We'll have to go to the bullpen eventually. Everyone that's currently on the disabled list from a starting rotation standpoint comes back. You're going to have to make some of those moves anyway. Got to figure out what uh, Skaggs, Haney, Garrett Richards, Shoemaker all have, if anything, going into the offseason so that you can somehow shape your offseason shopping list or moves, make some big decisions. Someone was asking about uh, J.C. Ramirez and Parker Bridwell. It with JC you can almost not necessarily shut him down but you kind of put him in the bullpen now he's thrown more innings than he's ever thrown in his first season as a starter and that's the one thing Mike Sosha and Charles Nagy has talked about with JC those innings he has thrown and to keep an eye on it but he's been very effective an opportunity to be pick up his 10th win tonight which would lead the club in that category Parker Bridwell you mentioned him he has been dominant yep. what a fine by Billy goes around Maldonado the first to complete the strikeout under control one away. Yeah, Parker's been uh, brilliant. Talk about someone pitching with a chip on his shoulder. After being acquired back in April from the Orioles. Would have loved to have seen him. Well, what's today? Thursday? Yeah, he'll, he'll get to face his uh, former mates coming up next week. Yes, that's going to be fun to watch. What he's pitched in some tough environments on the road and it has excelled in that. You talk about a great tempo. Works quickly, throws a lot of strikes. Really, when you think about it, his average fastball, you know, coming in, we heard around 92, 93. He's been rushing that fastball pretty consistently, 94, 95. The birthday boy. You also think that kind of plays into this whole thing, too. Skaggs coming back. If and when Andrew Heaney comes back or Garrett Richards or Matt Shoemaker, those guys aren't coming back their first three or four starts working eight innings. 
each time out. They're going to be limited as they build up. So you're going to have to have long guys. Yes. Coming out of the bullpen. But it would be great to see all those guys be able to come back and contribute. All of a sudden you have depth in your pitching staff and the way the offense has been swinging the bat of late. It's going to be fun to watch these next uh, month and a half. This piece of hitting by Hernandez. Picks up a single, snaps the uh, string of seven straight, retired by J.C. Ramirez. Fourth and allowed by Ramirez. We'll bring up Freddie Galvis. Cameron may be getting close to coming back to the lineup soon, very soon. Ben Revere has really swung the bat well. Freddie Galvis, a shortstop, one for two. Fly ball to center and a base hit. Philadelphia, no runs, four hits, two errors, two left on. The Angels, seven runs, nine hits. Three men left on base. Two and oh. Knocked down by Crone, goes to second, they get the lead runner, that's it. Nice that's, play by CJ. That's a good decision, too. You don't have to try to get a light on. You're not going to turn a double play. You want to make sure you get that one out, and that would be at second base. Good range once again by, and being shown by CJ Crone, worked so hard in spring training. It's a nice diving play, and knowing you're only going to get that one out at second base, Crone's able to do so. Good play by CJ Crone. Herrera is 0 for 2. Struck out his last time up. Cued toward third. That is going to be an infield base hit. The old swinging bunt. Hey, join the Angels Friday. Oakland is in town, as we mentioned. Fans in attendance will receive a trout MVP season of bobblehead. Second in a series, courtesy of Pachanga Resort and Casino, while supplies last. More info on that bobblehead. Angels.com. Oakland coming into town, followed by the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore playing better of late. They are just one game under 500 themselves with their win tonight. Their newest acquisition, Jeremy Hallickson. Yeah, they're 11 to 5 in the last 16 games. Baltimore. Hallickson picked up the win tonight against Kansas City. Joseph skies one shallow outfield grass left side puts it away and the Phillies threat distinguished here in the sixth led the bottom of the inning seven nothing Angels.
Hyundai. There's no better time to buy a new Hyundai than now. See your local Hyundai dealer or visit buyhyundai.com. Handles up 7 0 here at the bottom of the sixth inning. Take Thompson who got the start. It was done after his five innings, seven runs, two earned. So McCannon goes to the bullpen. Brings in left hander Adam Morgan to take over for him. Morgan pitching in his 17th major league game this year. 0 oh, 1 to 6.43 ERA. 28 innings, 35 hits, 30 strikeouts, and 12 walks. Base 8 9 and 1, Maldonado, Flores, and Revere. Yeah, fastballs 88 92 action, little sink action. He'll throw a curveball, slider, and a changeup. Martins two for two, two doubles, both coming in the third inning. Takes a strike. Maldonado became the first Angels player with two doubles in one inning. Tim Salmon did it back September 23rd, 2000 at Texas. First catcher ever to do so in the same inning. Skies this one to right center. Herrera, the center fielder, comes in, calls everybody off, one away. A little more aggressive swing in the bat as compared to last night. Talked about how many pitches he saw in four bats. 27 of them. And the pitch he's wanted to drive and he's not missed them. Just got underneath on that swing. Fly out the center. Floor is over two. Slider there to Flores. Oh, two. Check swing. Did not go. Morgan, a uh, third round pick by the Phillies after 2011 out of the University of Alabama. Fifteen games with the Phillies two years ago. Last year, twenty-three games, twenty-one starts. This year, exclusively out of the pen at the major league level. Bouncer to second. Two down. And this copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels that may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Swinging the bat well in the last 24 games, just under 330 batting average. Even the outs he has made for the most part have been hit well. One for three tonight, takes low. Just got the corner to a one. Nine hits for the Angels, seven of which occurred in the third.
five extra base hits. Chopper to third base. Franco has it. That is a strong yes, arm it at is. third. Down in order. We're heading to the seventh inning. Angels on top. Brought to you by T-Mobile. Baltimore sweeps Kansas City. They win that game 6 to nothing. You mentioned Jeremy Hellickson. Seven shutout innings. The O's have won seven straight home games versus Kansas City. The Chicago Cubs have been very, very hot, but Arizona wins 3 nothing. Jake Lamb's having a great season three RBI. And the showstopper around the majors in Miami trying to preserve a shutout. Carlos Stanton. Known to hit that long home run, but it makes an outstanding play to prevent a home run and a shutout for the Marlins, the final out of the game. Great play by Stanton in right field. They just won their fourth consecutive series. First time they've done that since September of 2015. The second place. Miami Marlins now in that NL East. With every, everyone on the DL. Yes. Now, for the rest of the season, a yeah. number of key players. Kim's 0 for 2. Tried to bunt his way on back in the second. A fly ball to right his last time up. He'll bounce this one toward the middle. What away. Three strikeouts, one walk, five hits allowed for JC. Came into the inning having thrown 75 pitches, is at 77. And the most he's thrown in any one inning was back in the first. 16. Got eight outs via the ground ball in this game also. Very economical as far as his pitches thrown in an inning. Good to see, especially the amount of innings and pitches he has thrown now this season, all at career highs. Left side of the infield, Valpointa calling for it. Well, even going back to the go tos for JC Ramirez in the game, we talked about that need to be able to throw that slider, get some outs with the pitch, good depth and sharpness of his slider. Same thing with his curveball. He's gotten some quick outs with his secondary pitches. Daniel Nava's one for two. Base hit back in the second. Grounded out to Coward in the fifth.
And when you look at this Phillies lineup, they are very aggressive. And J.C. Ramirez has used that to his benefit, spanning some strikes with his secondary pitches, but also with his fastball. And we're back in spring training of last year, Daniel Nava, in that battle for the left field spot for the Angels. Was swinging the bat very well in Tempe. Hurt his knee towards the end of spring training and never really got in gear at all as far as his swing and his timing. At 235 for the Angels at 45 games. Went to Kansas City, played in nine games there. Ended up signing with Philadelphia. The offseason. One two count. He's able to backdoor that curveball a little off the outside corner though. Two two on the way. Alvin fouls it off. Still pretty good movement on that fastball, 95. Try that slider. Coward once again. JC with a one, two, three, seventh stretch time here at the Big A. Seven nothing Angels. A family owned dealership can make. It's the bottom of the seventh. Halo's up by the score of seven to nothing so far. A fantastic seven innings for JC Ramirez looking for his tenth win of the season. We allowed five hits, he struck out three, and walked one. The Angels here in the bottom of the seventh will have Trout, Pujols, and Valbuena to face Adam Morgan looking his second inning of relief. He had a one, two, three, six. Trout, Pujols, Valbuena coming up. Out of the home run and a walk, one for two game, 20th home run of the season, back in the third inning. <laughs> 
two run shot for Trout in that third. 47 runs batted in now. Drew a walk in his last plate appearance. Still showing a real good patient, not expanding the strike zone and chasing. Three balls, no strikes. Doesn't swing off it. No, he has not swung at a 3 0 pitch this season. That might have been a good one, although <laughs> <laughs> 7 0 in the seventh inning may have been the reason why he didn't. But still, that, that pitch could have uh, gone a long way. Yeah, I've been checking those numbers for, for Trout this season. Not once has he swung at the 3-0 pitch. He's consistent. Yes. Well, yes, he is that. Three two now. We'll shoot this one to second base. Hernandez has it. Go, go back to my Hyundai key for this game for the Angels to be successful. Just give me a reason. Staying within their game plan really came into effect in that third inning. Three home runs, including back-to-back -back home runs. Albert Pujols also had a hit and scored a run in that third inning. So the game plan was tracking lower part of the strike zone and very successful in this game. Albert's one for three with a single and a run scored the third inning. All seven runs in that third frame against Jake Thompson. Three infielders on the left side. Here comes a 1 0. Ground ball. Short, short. Galvis. Two down. Galvis was almost playing third base. Six straight now retired by Phillies pitching. As Crone was hit by a pitch in the fifth. Luis for three. Now Buena going with the, uh, the trendy face mask protection. With a left handed pitcher. Yep. The trend in Major League Baseball now, guys wearing it. I think that's something that would be hard to do. Just all of a sudden, do that in the season, just the, because others are doing it. The distraction, right? Especially when you're not used to it. That. Yes. I mean, you've heard guys who've gotten hit. It was just, that was the toughest part. Coming back is one, the confidence of getting back in there. Two, of dealing with whatever protection mm -hmm. they were using. It seems like guys are just using it nowadays because uh, others are. We've also seen a couple of guys get drilled in the face. Chris Iannetta yeah, and, and the Diamondbacks. He didn't miss any time with that. Yeah. So I can see why you would think about doing it, especially if you're one of those guys that doesn't turn in. Yep. Well, Stanton against right-handed pitching, we saw him down yeah. there in Miami wearing it, but against the left-handed pitcher, he did not wear a protective flap on that helmet. Like Angleton would be a guy facing a right-hander yes. that would think because he turns right in he towards the baseball. Right, yeah, he's facing the baseball every time. The ball's up and in on him. You know, Trout's very good as far as turning his head away from the baseball and yeah. was thrown inside. And Trout gets pitched inside an awful lot. We were here about a month or two months ago. Escobar busted it out one time. I asked Keith Tarter down in the clubhouse if that was something new. He said he just wanted to try it. 
Didn't wear it the rest of the game. I don't remember seeing it no. again for you now. Again, it's one of those things, if you do it in spring training and kind of work yeah. your way into to get used to it, I could totally understand a player well, using it, well, wanting to use it. When you think about how much time you have to react to hit a baseball anyhow, and any type of distraction makes it even more difficult to do so. 2-2. Two, two. Fouled it off. Pretty long at bat here for Luis against the left handed pitcher. Already seen seven pitches so far in this at bat. And he goes around. The Angels down in order. Seven complete here at the Big A Angels. On time, seven to nothing. Home runs in one inning right there on your screen. Mike Trout, CJ Crone, and let's not forget about Caleb Coward also going yard, his first of the season. That's the offense all coming in that big third inning with the seven hits, the three home runs, and the back to back jacks. But how about JC Ramirez pitching a strong game, and he is back out there here in the top of the eight. See if the Angels can continue to hang on here. Join us after the game, Angels Live post game, brought to you by your SoCal Mazda dealers with Jose Moda and Alice Curry with all the reaction. But a lot of Twitter buzz. Victor and Mark Gubaza on that prediction of the Trout home run and, and the fly Philly fly. You're big time up there, Gooby. Uh, this pure luck when you can talk about <laughs> yeah. Trout, good things generally will happen. That's for sure, Patrick. Pure luck. JC back out for the eighth. Three punch outs, one walk. Eight, nine, and one. Rupp, Knapp, and Hernandez. First one's in for a strike. Rub the catchers over two. A fly ball to right in the second. Struck out in the fifth. Boy, always look and hit the ball the other way. Or that's just a swing. <laughs> Late on the fastball, perhaps. He's a strong kid. Yeah, it's like it's mentioned, seven home runs the other way, opposite field home runs. That's in the top four in Major League Baseball as far as opposite field home runs. Home runs hit by Rupp this season. Two to center, seven to right. This one that he pulled 
to left field for a home run. Pretty good indication he lets the baseball travel can drive the ball that way. Crone to the backhand has it. JC's covering one down. Crone has made some really solid defensive plays at first tonight. Hey, join the Angels Saturday. Oakland's in town. That's a 6.07 start. Fans in attendance will enjoy a post-game fireworks show. For more information on that Saturday night fireworks show presented by Wells Fargo, go to angels.com. And that would be on Saturday night, right? That would be correct, sir. That's hence the name. One out. Nobody on. Andrew Knapp, the DH. One for two. With that out for J.C. Ramirez, a new career high in the game. And that first out here in the eighth inning, seven and a third. He's pitched seven innings. In the big list, 21 starts. First year as a starter. Ten outs via the ground ball today for J.C. Ramirez. Two balls and a strike. Knapp singled back in the third inning. No action in the Angels' pad. JC had 92 pitches. Top of the order, Cesar Hernandez on deck. 7 0 Angels here in the eighth. And there is ball four. If they missed by a whole lot. It's still pretty good movement on a fastball, 93. Second walk for Ramirez, puts a man on. Charles Nanke calling down now to the bullpen. Hernandez one for two. Walk a double play ball and a single. Back early in the season for J.C. Ramirez had a couple games in which he had nine strikeouts. Not easy to get a lot of strikeouts when your fastball is going to be that two seam sinking fastball lower part of the strike zone. Three strikeouts today but very effective as far as getting quick ground ball outs. I like the small victory for JC. He's bouncing back from a six walk performance in his last start, being under control against a team that's, uh, while well, they've struggled all year, have been a little bit better, much better of late offensively and very aggressive early on. Well, coming into the series, they won five straight. Cam Droge getting ready in the bullpen. Hit toward the hole and it gets through. Coward could come up with it. Knapp will stop right there as floors it gets it back in. So two on, one out. Freddie Galvis coming to the plate. This conversation for a couple of reasons allow Cam Droge to get ready down in the bullpen, but also. Go ahead and have a quick conversation with JC. Say, hey, listen, you made a good pitch there. It was a ground ball, just found a hole. Go right back to that mindset, get another ground ball, see if you get a double play turn. 15 double plays have been turned behind him this season, including one tonight. 
Second time tonight that the Phillies have had multiple base runners on board. The other was in the sixth. Galvis one for three with a base hit back in the third. All of a sudden, trying to guide that fastball. Stay on top, see if you can get a sinker. Get a ground ball, 98 pitches, 59 of them strikes for J.C. Ramirez. Three balls, no strikes. Probably the last batter. If he ends up walking or getting on base somehow, and this next pitch will be the most he has thrown in any single inning. And uh, he gets some help there. That old neighborhood 3 0 pitch. <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> it's like a block over. Yes. <laughs> but it's a nice neighborhood. Out towards center. Playable for Trout. Down. So Herrera coming to the plate, taking his time. He thinks that maybe Sosha's going to come out and make a move. So she's going to give JC a shot at Herrera here to finish off this inning. Oh, I, I have agree. To. Why not? Yes. Seven nothing. The guy the pen's ready to go. Herrera one for three with a base hit in the sixth. Out toward right, not very deep. Floors racing over. He'll get there. Gets that third out. And we will head to the bottom of the eighth inning. Nice outing for J.C. Ramirez. Hale is on top, 7-0.
Nick Crone with a big night, two for two with a two run home run. Mike Trout with a two run home run. Philip Coward with a solo shot, two doubles in the same inning for Martin Maldonado back in the third. You see Ramirez, excellent career high as far as innings pitched. Eight shutout innings tonight, 103 pitches, looking for that 10th victory of the season. Great effort for JC Ramirez tonight against a team he pitched for in the past. 103 pitches, those eight innings. Therian takes over here at the uh, bottom of the eighth inning. Morgan ended up going two innings, so the strikeout, the rest zeros. Two career games, made his debut on Saturday against Atlanta. Back toward the middle, Simmons. With his second hit of the ball game, two for four, leads off the eighth with a single. That base hit earlier in the game in the third inning extends his hit streak to 11. Another multi-hit game for Simba. Crone's been on board three times. Single and a home run. Hit by a pitch in his last plate appearance. Cuts through the fastball. Winning the home runs tonight by Crone, Trout, Cowart, all first round picks by the Angels in 09, 2010, 2011 with Trout, Cowart, and Crone all homered in the same inning, all first round picks, three consecutive seasons. Pretty impressive. Shooting one out toward right center field, tailing back toward Nava. One out. Caleb a one for three game of the home run twice is grounded into a double play. There he 17th round pick. By Philadelphia back in 2011. Made of a Montreal. Thirty nine games at triple leg two and one with a one point four one ERA sixty five strikeouts at fifty seven and a third innings. What a two. He's been pretty consistent rushing that fastball 95 96. Some late action on it. Hard action on that breaking ball. Kind of looks like to me, just from here looking down at the mound, Dane De La Rosa, former Angels, strike out. Yeah, had a pretty good couple really good stretches at times yeah. with the Angels. Big shoulders. AMLB.com at bat, your number one mobile app for live Angels baseball. Stay connected with a fully customizable experience. Get Angels home screen icons and app features, as well as game day, live game video highlights, radio broadcast, stat cast news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat today.
Two outs and a man at first. Our team Maldonado, two for three game. Two doubles, 13 on the year. Philadelphia, the ninth inning, has Joseph, Kim, and Franco coming up. Eduardo Paredes getting ready for the Angels. All seven runs for the Angels tonight in the third inning. JC Ramirez in line for his 10th win. To what? Popped up on the middle part of the infield. Joseph calling for it. Halos are down here at the eighth. We're off to the ninth building. So he's trying to make it two in a row against Philadelphia. Up seven to nothing. All new 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, the new benchmark of minivans. Test drive one at your local Chrysler dealership today. By Mercury Insurance, we're on a mission to save you money. Log on to MercuryInsurance.com to get a fast free quote and see how much you can save. And by Buick. 7 nothing Angels trying to make it two in a row against the Philadelphia Phillies. The fight. That's what you grew up calling them, didn't oh, you? Oh, yes. This here, Mayor's looking for 10th win. Eduardo Paredes comes in to face the Phillies here in the ninth inning. Four and two third innings so far this year. This will be his third big league game. No record of 386 ERA, four and two third innings. Two strikeouts, two walks, two hits allowed. Speaking of J.C. Gooby, now it's time for Land Rover above and beyond player of the game. Eight shutout innings, career high as far as innings pitch. 1.93 ERA in last five starts for J.C. Ramirez. Looking for that 10th victory of the season. Double figures. New center fielder Shane Robinson takes over from Mike Trout with a 7-0 here lead here in the night. Grounded ball to short. Simmons has it. One out. Tommy Joseph 0 for 4 tonight. And bring up Yunsu Kim, left fielder. A lot of ground ball action today. For the infielders for the Angels, solid defensively.
Called strike three. Down goes Kim. Two outs. Runs that fastball in 92. A little late movement. Catches the corner. Call third strike. Out toward right center field. Shane Robinson calling for it. Like that, baby. That was the Eagles shut out the Philadelphia Phillies by the final of 7 0. 11th straight victory for the Angels against the Phillies. J.C. Ramirez, eight shutout innings.